Welcome to the second part of the manual aimed artillery tutorial. If you're unsure about how to actually aim the gun itself, please look to the linked video. I'm now going to shoot and we're going to follow the bulletin or the shell rather. This is functionality that's not part of ACE itself but it is handy for uh, learning or for showing you exactly what's going on so the bullet is soon going to drop again and we can see the target below It's going to hit to the right of the target and it's uh, not far enough up. Now I've been <coughs> shooting before this and I've been taking some exact me measurements which uh, may make the display a bit better. The adjustment that we need to do is left 50, add 50, up 10. The target is simply, the impact was simply 50 meters to the right of the target, along the gun target line, and it was 50 meters short, and as well, there is uh, a 50 meter, and there is a 10 meter elevation difference between the impact site that we should take into account. This is something that it's a spotter's job to call in that uh, I've been doing some more exact measurements to try to help the example along. And if the spotter isn't calling in the correct numbers then you can't expect the adjustment to hit where it's supposed to. Now, well, I begin with the uh, left component. Mills have this uh, property that at one kilometer of range, then one mill to either side is one meter. At eight and a half kilometers, this being then one mill off will be. 8.5 meters and 50 meters off is then for 50 divided by 8.5 equals well close to 6 mil. So let's correct the left part. Let's see, we're on the direction. then have the elevation component which is a bit worse. And before I start on the elevation component let me just add that if we were talking about an impact around here or something we would also have to adjust the range for that because this is What's really happening now is that I'm shooting on a line to here and the line of, of that is a curve that forms part of a circle cer centered on the gun. In this case, 50 meters at 8.5 kilometers, that's about 15 centimeters. But in the case that uh, the adjustments start to get large, that if it's several hundred mils 
adjustment to the side, then it's probably wise to start factoring that part in. Um, the range and the elevation. We need to go back to the range tables, get for the correct charge we're using, and let's see. You have to look at the difference between these numbers. Um, 880, let's see, minus 854, 26. In other words, for every 100 meters, you have to change 26 mils. Now, since we're only doing half of that, because it was exactly 50 meters off, we get 13 mils. And then, there's the up component. It was 10 meters above the impact point, and therefore, we have to do the same thing again. For, uh, there's an average of 13 between these, well, 13 and a half, and that's for 100 meters. This is 10 meters, so it's basically 1.3, and 1.3 divided by 10 is, uh, no, sorry about that, 1.3 is a unit less than we can really deal with here. So, we need to subtract the elevation, the 13, and then we need to add that 1. So basically we're going down 12 on the elevation. Let's see, just a moment. Just a long moment. There. Elevation. Let's see. Um, like this. And we try to shoot again. If the observer has not given uh, gun target line adjustments, then they need to be converted to that, which is, uh, well, trigonometry. Seems to be far more on target. Oh, just um, shall we say ten meters far? So we do a. So the observer gives a drop ten. We basically follow the same procedure. 